Hey guys, this is Joe with Millennium. And I wanna take a few minutes to try to help uh, you new folks to the industry on how to clean connectors and why the heck it's super important. All right, so inside of this core right here, it's nine micron inside of this uh, connector. So our ferrule sticking up right here, this is two and a half uh, millimeters. And then inside of there is nine micron. It's crazy small. The diameter of our hair is 60 to 80 micron. A speck of dust might be about 20 micron. A spider web is about 10 micron. So inside of there, smaller than a spider web is the core. So if this gets dirty, if I touch this, this is now a filthy connector. So this is gonna account for the majority of outages on a network. So um, what are some methods that we can do to keep it clean? So if you're cleaning connectors, first and foremost, start with a dry clean. Just like uh, if you're cleaning windows in your house or your windshield, if they're all, not all that dirty, start with a dry clean. Um, so use new, newspaper, paper towel. Here, we can use a one click. And um, you know the one clicks, they typically take three or four or five clicks, um, but they do a pretty darn good job and they're pretty fast. Um, they're versatile as well because we can do um, a jumper or we can take this cap off and we can go inside of a patch panel. Um, so this is you know, the, the quick, easy method right here. So um, other dry method is using just a lint-free wipe like this and grabbing your connector and swiping it across. Um, Clee tops also do the same um, trick. Hey guys, now that I just gave you an overview on how to clean, let's get down to some of the brass tacks on this. All right, so we've got a uh, OTDR here that just came back from rental. Let's check out its port. Let's see what kind of fun this OTDR just had. All right, so when it, Plug in my inspection probe, make sure you swap out your tips based on whether it's APC, UPC, um, or if it's a bulkhead or a uh, jumper. You gotta make sure you swap your connectors. Um, if you want to reduce the amount of um, connectors you need, uh, pro tip, use a bulkhead adapter. All right, so let's uh, start inspecting this probe, this connector, sorry, this connector. Um, it looks like it's going to, oh, it passed. All right, so it's kind of dirty. We can see some um, dust and debris in here. Um, you see these big chunks out here. You know what, that's okay. We don't really care about that um, because the core is smack dab in the middle here. That's where our light's transmitting. So who cares about that dirt way out there? But what's kind of cool about this is I can tell that somebody connected a dirty connector to this um, while it was out on rent. So here we've got these green dots and they make a light circle around here. So that is uh, much like taking a thumb and putting it on somebody's uh, glass window and then um, taking a step back and seeing your thumbprint left on there. So we're seeing the thumbprint of a dirty connector right now. Um, to clean ports, one click cleaner is quick and easy. Um, and this should take care of our problems. Again, we always want to start with a dry clean, um, one, because it's uh, quick and easy, and two, we're not introducing any extra potential uh, contaminants. Um, all right, so let's see if that got rid of our ring. Voila, that looks pretty to me. So that should pass. Um, now, some hacks with this one-click cleaner. I know that people will take their uh, ball and get their dish filled up, get their tip in there. So that floss is now saturated with alcohol. Do a couple clicks, um, let it evaporate, go back and do your dry clean.